Hey everyone, we're going to simplify this rational expression and we're subtracting. So I'm going to rewrite it first to find the common denominator. So I'm going to put this 2x minus 5 in fraction form. And do that. So my LCD, least common denominator, is just going to be x minus or x plus 4. All right. So we want all of this to be uh, x plus 4. So if I want this to be x plus 4, then I have to multiply the numerator also by x plus 4 so as not to change the equation. So basically what we have is x plus 4 and we have 2x minus 5 times x plus 4 and then for this part don't forget to distribute that negative there. So that's going to be minus x plus 8. So that's what we have. Now we're at the stage where we can simplify the numerator. So we're going to FOIL this out or distribute whichever method you prefer. And we're going to get 2x squared plus 8x minus, let me scoot this over. Sorry about that. I'll go really fast now. 2x squared plus 8x minus 5x minus 20 minus 8 plus 8. So this part here was what I foiled out over your LCD. Now, <coughs> uh, if we simplify this, we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 20 minus x plus 8 divided by your LCD. All right, now further, let's see what we can do with this. this uh, we have 2x squared, 3x minus x is 2x, and then we have um, negative 20 plus 8 is negative 12 over your LCD. All right, so 2x squared plus 2x minus 12. Let me try to remember that. Okay, so you have 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 over your LCD. Our LCD was x minus 4. So let's factor out a 2, see what we get, because we might get uh, simplify further. Factor out a 2, we get x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 4. That's a 6. All right, so let's factor that further and see if we can get something. So for the 6, it's going to be x plus 3 and then x minus 2. Well, we factored it, but we can't cancel anything out. So this would be your final answer. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You could also leave this as your final answer as well, or this one. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.